Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about Apple Intelligence. As you probably know, one of the biggest features of the new iOS 18 are the new Apple Intelligence features, even though unfortunately they're available only to the newer iPhones. But I will show you guys a few different things that you probably didn't know that you can do with the Apple Intelligence features on your iPhone. There are some pretty cool stuff that you can actually use Apple Intelligence 4. First of all, we're moving to the Photos app and you know that on the Photos app we have a new cleanup feature. Well, that feature is meant to use to clean up objects from a picture. But what's really cool is that you can actually even use it for other things. Like I have a screenshot right here. What if I want to send this screenshot to someone but I don't want certain things to show up on the screenshot. Well, I can use the cleanup tool and I can go ahead and just highlight something like this and actually have the cleanup tool remove it from the screenshot. So you can see right there, I have some text. I can have this text right there removed as easy as that. As you can see, it will actually clean it up from your picture. You tap the dumb button and now you're good to go. You have the screenshot saved with everything that you wanted removed from your screenshot and now you can easily send it anywhere you want. Now here's something really cool that you can do with the writing tools on iOS 18.1 and newer. So if I select this text right here, of course, I will have the writing tools right here. Now what you can do is of course rewrite it, turn it into a list or maybe even a table. But if you don't see any of these tools right here, don't have something that you wanna do, you can actually just describe it right here. So if I just wanna turn this basically list that I have there into a sentence, I can do that simply by describing it so just like that, describe what you want to do with that text and tap the send button right there. And in a few seconds, you will have your result, of course, based on whatever you asked for. So that's really, really cool. So you don't have to go just with the writing tools that you have there. You can actually describe and change the text anywhere you want. Now with Playground, this is a feature of iOS 18.2, which is coming to your iOS device in a few weeks now, probably around December the 2nd you can turn your images into an eye image. The way to do that, you simply tap the plus button right there and you will be able to actually choose between taking a photo or choosing a photo from your library. And once you have done that, you can wait here for a few seconds and you will see we have the image there and it does actually turn uh, that image into an AI image. So it will create a new AI image based on the photo that you have there. So you can see right there, I had a photo with an iPhone that had a car wallpaper, and you can see it actually has created a few pretty cool pictures with an iPhone containing a wallpaper with a car. Now, of course, you can tap right there if you wanna save it, and you will have these amazing like different images that it will create for you as easy as that. Now, of course, one of the coolest new features of iOS 18.2 is image one. This is of course, again, coming with 18.2 and it should be here really, really soon. Now, what you can do is basically create a sketch or just describe something and create a, an image out of what you have typed so you said like the image, the text right there and you can go ahead and now create an image. Just tap add to playground. It will create the image right here. But what's really cool with this feature is that you can see right there. I only added big house and it will create the image. But what I can do here is just add more words. So if I have this image right here, I just can add something else. And whenever I add something else, it will recreate the image, basically adding whatever you're typing there. So you can see right there, you can just keep on adding text there and it will always recreate that image, adding everything that you have typed there. Of course, you can change the image style right here. So it's pretty cool. Now, every time you basically add something, it will change the image, but you can also just like remove something. You see those little, little like minus buttons right there. You tap those, it will remove any of those words. And again, recreate the image based on whatever you have typed. Now, one of the coolest new additions to iOS 18.2 is of course, it's the chat GPT integration with Siri. So anytime you wanna do something, you can ask Siri, 
Or if you want to use Siri and the integration of ChatGPT, you can ask Siri specifically to do something via ChatGPT. So that's pretty easy to do. You just launch Siri and ask for it. Compose a short poem using ChatGPT. And just like that, you can ask Siri to do anything you want straight from ChatGPT. And in this case, you can see we also have a copy button right there that lets you copy the results that you get from Siri and ChatGPT in this case, which is pretty awesome. So anytime you want to use ChatGPT, just launch Siri and ask to do anything you want via ChatGPT. Another pretty cool feature on iOS 18.2 is that you can compose anything you want directly from the writing tools. So whether you're using the button or you're using the writing tools from the pop-up menu, you can just swipe like this and it shows you here a section where it says compose and it will take you to this part of ChatGPT. And from here, you can just ask ChatGPT to compose anything. So you basically just type anything you want there or you tap the plus button where you can add an image or a file to ChatGPT. So let's just do this. Just like that, you tap the button right there to send it and you're good to go. Now you're not using the writing tools of iOS 18, but you're using ChatGPT. As easy as that, you can have composed anything you want. And then once you have done that, you will also get the rewrite right there. So every time you want to like change it, you can just tap the rewrite button and you're good to go. Now, another pretty cool thing that you can do with the image cleanup feature of iOS 18.1 is that whenever you go to cleanup and you have a picture where there are faces and you want to hide them, all you have to do is just make a circle around that face and it will actually hide that face, which is really, really convenient. So you can see right there, it says safety filter applied and you can do that as many faces as you have on a picture. You can just circle them and it will actually hide them by pixelating them just like this. And creating memories on iOS 18 is really, really cool. With the new Apple intelligence features, you can basically describe anything you want here. So just describe anything you need. You go ahead and type here, like just think of it as like a title for your movie that you want to create here. And it will create anything you want out of the title that you have added here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some amazing things that you can do with the Apple intelligence features on your iPhone. Now, of course, some of these features are currently available with iOS 18.1. Others are available with the betas of iOS 18.2, but they will, of course, be released very, very soon for iPhone users. And of course, they're coming to the newer devices, the iPhone 16 series and the iPhone 15 Pros, and they should be here around December the 2nd. That's the time we're expecting Apple to actually release the new iOS 18.2 with the new AI features to the iPhone users. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.